Hello there everyone, today I'm going to have a super exciting video for you guys. This is going to be iOS 6. Yes, that is not 5, that is 6 on a iPad 3rd generation. So first thing we're going to do, go ahead and turn on the screen. Uh, unlock it. Let me go ahead and turn up the brightness on this. Alright then. Actually, let's go ahead and move this over here. Go ahead and look at it in the sunlight. Okay, so when we first look at the home screen, you're going to notice a new thing. You're going to see the clock. The clock right here. We're going to have a timer, a stopwatch, your alarm, and then the world clock, which shows weather, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and focus a little bit here. That's a little nice thing to have. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close all this. You're also going to notice that uh, the Maps logo slightly different. Let's go ahead and click on Maps. See, it takes you to uh, everything. If we go in the bottom right corner, it says uh, data from TomTom. Tom. So TomTom Tom is the Maps provider for iOS 6, which is uh, quite a cool thing. Uh, you can go ahead and zoom in and out pretty fast because it's uh, vector-based maps now. Let's put it on uh, hybrid or satellite. Well, let's go ahead and see. I got an email up top there with the notifications. Uh, That's how satellite should look. You know, it's uh, go like this when it loads. It loads a lot faster than it did before on the old maps. Look at all these different places. Uh, let's go ahead and get directions to. Let's see. Direct me to one infinite loop. Oh, well, it said directly to. Let's see, I was hoping to understand that, but I guess it didn't. Uh, okay. I'm just going to type in one infinite loop and see what it does. Because that should be Apple's headquarters. All right, there we go. So it says Apple Incorporated. There we go, your last little 3D looking thing so we can move it around. Let's go ahead and go on here. Yeah. Where'd it go? Info. Uh, let's go ahead and do directions to here from my current location through car. Now let's route. So that's a pretty far drive you guys can see. It's going to only take me about six hours. But let's go ahead and start it anyways. So we were 350 feet and at the end of the road turn left and then we're going to turn right and uh, it's nice it's going to give you uh, little directions up top on where to go. 46 miles on uh, the I-5 North. Alright then. Oh, 243 miles right here. And so anyways well, you can do that and let's get an overview of it, and that's going to be the overview of our route. So this is pretty cool in the new maps. Uh, everything's real quick and snappy. It loads pretty fast. A lot faster than the maps used to load. So let's close that. Let's go to the real interesting part of iOS 6 on your new iPad. Text Mitchell. What do you want to say to Mitchell? Doesn't Siri rock on the iPad? I updated your message. Ready to send it? Send. Okay, I'll send it. And there you go. You can send messages. You get the entire Siri experience that, whoops, let me go ahead and hold down the home button, that everyone has come to love. So you can do uh, everything that Siri did on the iPhone 4S. So let's go ahead and do this. Siri, tell me a joke. What did one iPhone say to the other iPhone? I used to know this one. I don't know. What did it say? It's not a problem. Alright then. And what's the best phone in the world? Wait, there are other phones? It's funny because Siri still thinks that uh, I'm on a iPhone 4S. Uh, before it told me the one you're holding, and obviously, this is no phone, because if I say something like, Call Mitchell. Calling Mitchell, iPhone. I can't make phone calls for you on this device, but you can make a FaceTime call. You see, so you still can't make phone calls or anything like that, but, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and go to the other aspects of uh, iOS 6. So one big thing is going to be the Facebook integration. Uh, the new settings layout's a little bit different. You got your little do not disturb there. Everything's uh, laid out in little bricks. Uh, we're going to have our Facebook integration right here. With Facebook, it'll allow you to update your contacts. Uh, let's go ahead and go into settings. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, so that's normal for if you had the Facebook app installed, but it'll uh, add all of these to your account. So if there's any calendar apps on any calendar uh, notifications on Facebook, they'll add them into your calendar on the iPad. Uh, all your contacts from Facebook, you may not want that on there. Uh, you may want to switch that off. And then Game Center. If uh, you go into Game Center, like uh, I do right here, you can go ahead and uh, have all of your Facebook friends find your Game Center, and you can play with them and allow them to your friends list and whatnot. So Facebook integrated is pretty much just like how uh, Twitter used to be. So you can go to the top up here, and look at this. We can press tap to post or tap to tweet. Uh, that's a real nice feature. So, so oh, well, let me use a... Uh, huh, I can't use uh, my voice activation for this. So anyways, you can add your location, uh, tell you who you want to go to, you know, what you want in the message and whatnot. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Uh, Alright, put that back up. If we go through here, also on a few things they change, it's uh, photos and camera now, instead of just uh, photos, just like for photo stream and whatnot. You're going to have uh, the little blocks, as I said before, in between, help lay things out into different categories. Uh, privacy. You can turn uh, different privacy settings on for contacts. You don't want to, uh, like, you know, call you or something like that. You're going to have uh, your Do Not Disturb. Turn that on. As soon as we turn on Do Not Disturb, you see that there's a nice little uh, moon that comes up in the top corner. Let's go ahead and turn Do Not Disturb off. Let's focus this. And it goes away. And it goes back. It goes away. Basically, that's for when you're sleeping. Uh, you're not going to get notifications from, uh, like you are. You're going to receive them still. It's not like airplane mode. But the screen's not going to light up and no sound shall go off. That's a real nice thing to have. Let's go back on the clock here like we did before. Let's go in more detail. The alarm, uh, you know, you can see right here. You can scroll through the times of the day. You have uh, your main alarm up here. Uh, AM, let's see, you can add new alarms in the right-hand corner like this. If you go into stopwatch, you can uh, press start, it'll start. Start doing laps. And then you can press stop. Reset, of course, that's uh, all what you'd expect. Same thing for timer, you can press start, but on timer, uh, this little bar will just keep growing. It's sort of, it's sort of cool looking thing. Uh, it's a nice little touch they added. They make it look uh, quite nice if you ask me. Go ahead and close all these. Uh, everything else is normal. You can still scroll through your iPad like uh, you would before. Major updates would be Siri, uh, Facebook integration, and uh, a few other things. So let's go back to Siri. How many calories are in a bagel? It's kind of a, oh, call not call me. Calories are in a bagel? Uh, no, Siri. Uh, I do not want you to okay. call me calories are in a bagel. Um, yeah, so Siri's still a little bit off now. But it can do things like Facebook, I mean, not Facebook, I'm sorry, restaurant, uh, you know, reservations for you. So let's do Siri again. Find restaurants near me. I found 15 restaurants fairly close to you. So we can go through things like this. And uh, there's no restaurants around me where I can book reservations from here yet. But, you know, this is pretty normal. You can click on the reservations. It'll show you about... They're open right now, their reviews, their phone number, restaurant, uh, not restaurant, website if they have one, uh, distance from you, everything uh, you'd normally expect. Uh, one little thing I don't really like about Siri on here, though, is that it's just a little tiny window. I mean, look at the size of the iPad screen, uh, and Siri just comes in a little tiny window. Uh, sometimes that's probably going to be quite nice, but uh, I wish there was a way to put it into uh, full screen, you know, something like that. So anyways, guys, this is Siri. Oh, I'm sorry, Siri. This is going to be iOS 6 running on a third generation iPad. Uh, remember that if you have a second gen or a uh, first gen iPad, a first gen iPad, first of all, it's not going to get Siri. Or it's not going to get iOS 6 at all. And a second gen iPad is not going to get Siri. So that's going to, you know, kind of luck out. I mean, that kind of sucks for you guys, but uh, you're still going to get iOS 6 if you own a uh, iPad 2. Uh, yeah, so anyways, guys, this is uh, the beta 1 for iOS 6 on the iPad 3. Everybody have a nice day.